from the moment Kim Wo Jin entered this world. He was discarded like trash. The mistreatment he endured throughout his life left him with no love for humanity. He resented being labeled as a human, as he saw through the facade of those who wore masks of civility, while being consumed by their own selfish desires. This mistrust of people lead him to rely solely on himself. Even as the world underwent a drastic transformation on January 1, 2020, the world shifted into a game-like existence with dungeons and monsters appearing alongside individuals. Possessing the power to combat them, it was a monumental change in human history, but in his eyes, not much had truly altered. The strong still preyed on the weak, and those with power continued to exploit the powerless. The threat of dungeons and monsters become nothing more than a tool for ambitious players to further their own agendas. In this vast world, trust was a rare commodity. Only one individual stood out from the rest. I will vanquish the ultimate adversary of this game and bring end to it all. Among the initial seven players and one of the select few, chosen by the sacred light, he held the esteemed title of the highest level player. Ever since participating in the sacred light ritual, he had been different. Therefore, Lee Si Jun should be the savior of the world, while all the other players treated this new game like world as a platform to fulfill their ambitions and satisfy their greed. Only Lee Si Jun displays selflessness and dedicated himself to saving the world. He hunted monsters without seeking personal gain. He conquered perilous dungeons that others avoided. And he passed judgment on players and guilds who defied the laws, in essence. He fought against the world itself to save it. He was the first. Encountering such an individual for the first time in his life, Kim Wo Jin felt he could trust and wholeheartedly follow in this wretched world left a profound impact on him. Hunting dog Kim Wo Jin, I require your strength, said Lee Si Jun to him while extending his hand towards him. Kim Wo Jin didn't hesitate for a moment before accepting it. He would accompany him in putting an end to this accursed game, even if it meant risking his own life to change this world. Being a companion to a savior who would eventually save the world was an incredibly burdensome task compared to living a carefree lifestyle. The players who had a vested interest in the game did not want it to come to an end as the Messiah Guild got closer to defeating the game. The voices of the world flocked towards them, growing louder and louder. Despite the challenges, he never once considered giving up. He firmly believed that risking his life for the Nobel cause of saving his fellow men was never a waste. He had faith that by standing alongside them, he could bring about change in this dark world. Master, all that remains now is the final battle, Kim Wo Jin said. But the response he received was unexpected. There is no final battle, Lee Si Jun replied. Confused, he asked for clarification. What do you mean? Lee Si Jun words shocked him. I never intended for the game to end, Lee Si Jun explained, there must always be opposition for there to be obedience. The sight of Kim Woo Jin vomiting blood caused the floor to melt. He recognized it as the venom of the thousand snake, impressive as expected. Remarked Park Shin Hai, the person who had been speaking to the miserable Kim Woo Jin. The revelation that the poison's effect only became apparent. After being stabbed by Bom Nug Dagger was a shocking realization for Kim Wo Jin. As he pondered over this, the faces of his companions and allies flashed through his mind. It dawned on him that these individuals were willing to sacrifice everything, including their lives. For the sake of humanity, the recollection of their loyalty and selflessness caused a transformation in Kim Wo Jin's eyes, as a strong aura of determination and resentment emanated from him. This change in his expression was a clear indication of his acceptance of the truth. He understood that Lee Si Jun had never intended to become a hero or save the world. The silence of Lee Si Jun and the subsequent explanation from Park Shin Hai confirmed this fact. It was revealed that their plan from the beginning was to establish an empire that would dominate and rule the world. To achieve this, they needed to eliminate their competitors and portray themselves as heroes. Lee Si Jun, who stood before Kim Wo Jin, was not a hero but a villain disguised as one. He was a deceitful individual 
who would not even speak the truth with his own words, finally. All the preparations have been completed. Park Shin Hai stated, taking over for Lee Si Jun, Dragon Hunter, Grouse, Deadly Poison King, and even the King of the Undead, initially. We had planned to negotiate with the King of Undead, as I would have had to risk my life if I attempted to kill him, however. It was quite unexpected that a hunting dog would be the one to slay such a monster, Lee Si Jun. Kim Wo Jin had devoted his life to him, and it was disheartening to realize that he could not hear the reason. Behind his betrayal directly from him, but only through Park Shin Hai, well, my intention was to eliminate you once I joined forces with the King of Undad. Isn't it ironic? Considering your nickname is Hunting Dog, stated Park Shin Hai. Suppressing this indescribable feeling of chaos was incredibly challenging. So, how do you feel? Park Shin Hai said. There was absolutely no way Kim Wo Jin could feel any form of happiness or joy. He can't even utter a single word. She exclaimed from Lee Si Jun's actions alone. From start to finish, it was a profound B betrayal, the fact that he did not utter a single word. Using his own mouth in a situation like this only made him appear as nothing more than a coward confronted with this reality. Rage overwhelmed him. Kim Wo Jin said, You even killed those who trusted you with their lives. Countless men had sacrificed their lives for Lee Si Jun to be in this position now, disregarding everything they held dear their unwavering determination and resolute commitment to saving the world were the only things that propelled them forward. But now, you have discarded them because they are in your way. And you won't even provide an explanation using your own mouth, said Kim Wo Jin. This was an enigma that defied rational analysis or comprehension. Lee Si Jun, if you have any words to express, speak them with your own voice. The remnants of Kim Wo Jin logical reasoning allowed him to pose this question, why bother with you when your demise is inevitable, said Park. Shin Hai. Silence, I am conversing with Lee Se Jun, shouted Kim Wo Jin. However, despite Kim Wo Jin repeated pleas, Lee Se Jun remained unresponsive, instead. He turned his back on him, in that instant. Everything became clear to Kim Wo Jin, after all, there is no one in this world whom one can truly rely on. He had devoted his life to the hero, whom he believed was destined to save the world. However, it was all a deception, in the end. The hero betrayed him, moreover, as he had always suspected. There was no individual in the world worthy of trust or belief. Such a person did not exist. He was their sole hope. Kim Wo Jin's predicament was evident. Therefore, it was also abundantly clear what Kim Wo Jin had to do. I have eliminated anyone and anything. That obstructed the dream of ending the game. So, if you intend to kill me, do it properly. Because if I survive, I will do everything within my power to thwart you scoundrels. Kim Wo Jin said, making a traitor pay for his betrayal. That is the end of the story of Kim Wo Jin. If you liked the video, please like and hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.